unlocking the wheel lock will definitely help with undocking. <laughs> Let's jump right in. The thing I'm really watching coming out of the slip is making sure the boat stays lined up until the bow is clear of the pilot. Because of the strong prop walk, I get enough speed to get out of the slip in one initial burst. Here you can see the bow rotating out to port, so I'm adding more reverse. This boat has a lot of prop walk, so being in reverse will walk the stern to port to match the bow's drift. Now I'm getting close to the neighbor across the fairway. But my boat is 47 feet long, and the distance from the piling to his bow is under 60 feet. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Once I put the boat in forward, the bow's momentum spins the boat out into the fairway and we're off. My boat is a Bristol 45.5, an old, heavy, essentially full keel design that makes maneuvering in tight quarters very challenging. I actually find getting out of the slip more challenging than getting back in. Here is the magic that lets me ignore dock lines and focus on driving the boat while single-handed. The white stern line is the only line still attached to the dock. The boat is in forward. That and the stern line keep her stationary against the dock. The green bungee is tied to the dock line, so once I go in reverse, the dock line will release and the bungee will pull it aboard. Sometimes it's easier just to see it. Now for a closer look at the bow. It's tough to judge the bow from the helm, and also in video, which is why I always get close enough to the other side of the fairway to be safe. From the editing room, however, we can watch the piling shadow make its way down the side deck. As the shadow passes the pulpit, the bow will be clear. The same moment the bow clears the piling, I shift the boat into forward. It's going to be close every time, unfortunately. Lastly, let's have a full screen of me getting nervous, getting close to the yachts across the fairway. If you think this video could help out other sailors, give it a like and increase the chances that they see it. If you have any questions or want to see more videos like this, let's chat in the comments. I'll see you out there.